this person's viewpoint on everything. This could have been a twin here. We have twin flame on the top of the deck. They definitely weren't ready to be settling down with you, though. They couldn't give you what you needed, all right? So I do feel like you were looking for something more. You fell in love with somebody, a twin for some of y'all. All right, somebody here could have been dealing with a karmic. Some of y'all, somebody had a karmic, a third party attached to the situation. And that's why this person wasn't ready to commit to you because they were already committed to somebody else. But I'm telling you, this person misses you. This person misses you a lot. Let me see. What else do we have here for the collective? This person wants you to come back to them so bad. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius here. Man, let me tell you, whoever this karmic is, if, let me show you this energy. This karmic doesn't amount to you. I'm telling you, I feel like you came into this person's life masculine or feminine and you just interrupted it. You really did. Okay, karmic. She ain't you. The karmic is not you collective. The karmic is not you and your person misses you. Okay. Dang. So what else here we have for the collective? Oh, what was that? I'm sorry, I didn't listen to anything you had to say. Hold on a second, you guys. Somebody here is real bad at communicating with you. This person's real bad at communication, or maybe you have this person blocked here. Somebody is, <laughs> oh my goodness. This person doesn't know how to tell you that they miss you. They miss hearing your voice. They miss your touch. They, this person was a player though, definitely seeing more than one person, okay? I just want y'all to know, regardless of whether or not they were committed to somebody else or with somebody else or regardless of the label, Aries energies out here, you could be dealing with an Aries. Somebody here is watching you and stalking you on social media also to page of source energy. So they're, they could be talking to other people about you. Um, I feel like you're minding your business and you're healing or some of y'all have moved on to new love here with this new love energy and this healing energy. All right. And you've been focused on your career, your stability, your money, your goals, you know, which is good. You've been focused on you is what this is saying. Show me more here for the collective. I feel like you're not paying this person any attention. They want to communicate so bad. Letter energy, correspondence, message, fast developments. OK, and then man. So this man, this masculine wants to communicate with you. OK, there's something they want to tell you here. So somebody might be writing you a text, an instant message, a DM, or sending you a phone call or something. Or this person's thinking about doing that if they haven't yet. They're definitely on the fence about doing it. Show me more about this masculine's energy. The masculine's energy. Oh, now the masculine wants to settle down and be faithful. Say it ain't so. Problems, confusion, and insecurities. Oh, oh man. You know what I just got with this energy, you guys? I just got cry me a river. Somebody's like, play me a violin. Somebody's about to get ready to call you. They want to talk to you about their life problems. It's like playing a violin. Somebody wants to talk to you about the reason they weren't ready to settle down. The reason they couldn't give you what they needed. The reason they chose a karmic over you. You know, the reason why... They may have chose to do something else, okay, other than whatever they were supposed to be doing in the, in the first place. Yeah. So get ready for that. I feel like you're on a beach, minding your own business here, doing your own thing. Somebody might have a full sleeve tattoo. Somebody here may have a parrot. Somebody's got some skulls, some sort of skull tattoo. That's not for everybody either. But somebody definitely has a full sleeve tattoo. Show me more here for this masculine. So I feel like this masculine won't send it from you. If they do contact you, show me this masculine. Oh, okay. I asked for the spirit to show me the masculine and the spirit showed me you. Woman. Empathy. 
feminine, victory, success, and love. This masculine sees you as the divine feminine, okay? They see you as somebody here who's sitting this sun energy, this empress energy, just energy of fertility, joy. They feel like you're somebody who has really, really good luck here, or they feel like you have, you have the ability to manifest whatever it is that you want in your life and to be successful. They also want your empathy. They miss your love. They miss your warmth. They miss your touch, like I was saying earlier. They miss this energy about you. They feel like you were a good time. You were a very loving, kind, caring, nurturer. They do feel like you are very abundant. Look at this bunny she's holding here. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Somebody might really like sunflowers, too. Somebody here could be a Leo. Um, I feel like you transmuted this whole energy. When this ended, you guys, I feel like you took what okay this person doesn't want me i'm not or they're they're distracted somewhere else i'm not going to focus on that negative energy i'm going to transmute it and, and, and put that into my own personal endeavors right which is my job my career my business your family you know what i mean like i feel like you guys transformed and transmuted that energy so good and you've grown you've healed show me what else here Love cycles, attraction. What's this love cycle energy? This person is still deeply attached to you. Okay? They're still deeply attached to you because of the harmony and the peace. This loving... This is giving me Empress and Queen of Cups energy. You could be a Taurus or a Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio. I feel like this person... You help heal this person's inner child or bring this person's inner child out or at least put a mirror up to their face so they can realize the things that they... How they were toxic, how they showed up, the things that they needed to heal that maybe they had not addressed or were able to see below the surface and, and recognize. I feel like you also are in this energy of starting over. There's a certain innocence about you that I feel like this masculine really appreciated or they may have also took taken for granted is what I'm getting here. Some of y'all may have had a child with this person, um, but that's not for everybody, obviously, here. There's Queen Bee, in a very abundant energy around you, Divine Feminine. Temperance energy, you could be a Sagittarius. There are like butterflies and bees and sunflowers around you. This very royal type energy. I don't know if y'all can really see that. There's a lot of royal energy around you. Okay. Let's see. Dark Angel. Who is this Dark Angel? This is like night and day. This is like good versus bad. Karmic versus divine, divine being. What is this? What is this Dark Angel? So this is somebody else's energy. Show me this Dark Angel energy. Bizarre affair, crazy love, drama, unconventional relationships, some old third party bullshit, a group of people or this person, whoever they're dealing with is like, there was a bunch of like, this is a circus. It, whoever this person is dealing with, this karmic, who I believe that's exactly who this dark angel energy is because karmic already came out. This is the person that like, this is a shit show, a circus show. Look at this circus. And there's multiple people involved. There could be some gossip too. Let me let me pull some tarot and see what this dark angel and bizarre affair energy is. It's definitely some drama going on. Definitely some gossip. Hmm. Show me this bizarre affair energy with this dark angel, please. It's a stalemate. Whatever it is, it's not working. Yeah, so whatever this is, the situation is not working. This person could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn that this person is dealing with here. Show me this dark angel energy. Ace of Wands. Child, look at all this drama. Five of Swords, I'm telling you, there's definitely an, uh, ooh, King of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Cups in reverse. This person is not happy. Somebody here is really, like, very financially, like, they focus too much on money and how something looks here. Um, somebody, This person definitely can't let go of the past. Huh. 
Show me this dark angel energy. It's a lot of fighting, a lot of drama, and a lot of gossip and animosity between two people. There's a lot of conflict here between this person, your person, and this karmic. Show me more about this king, uh, dark angel. The dark angel could be your person, the masculine. Show me the dark angel. Um, no longer this person does not regret whatever they did but I'm going to tell you this this person is very self absorbed here and unhappy though they're not happy with their life right now that's what I'm getting from this four of cups in reverse show me this masculine energy please this, this king of pentacles in reverse what's this king of pentacles in reverse Four of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Pentacles upright, the Page of Swords in reverse, and the Five of Pentacles in reverse. There is some drama going on that's coming out. The uh, Moon card, Cancer energy. Definitely some gossip, some negative gossip here. Immaturity. Somebody definitely allows other people to influence. This could be someone here who allowed their family or their friends to influence how they feel, what they say, they might believe family members or friends um i this person is <sighs> might even be having to ask for help from family too if this person is experiencing some money problems somebody's experiencing money problems right now and asking to borrow money clarify this four of swords and reverse energy clarify this four of swords and reverse energy please What's this four swords in reverse? Ace of swords with the two of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's losing money over something. Somebody could have made the wrong choice or the wrong decision here. They definitely focused on the wrong thing or this person is focusing. This person's focus is on the wrong thing. Again, they're fo They're tired. It's whatever this person is, is that they're doing is not working their responsibilities are unmanageable. They are feeling overwhelmed. They are tired. They're not getting any rest. Somebody could be working way too much. And, and it's like you're work, working so much to the point where you can't even um, get any rest. But you still have to ask to borrow money. Or you still have to ask help to borrow money or something of that nature too. Show me more about this King of Pentacles in reverse. Third party energy. Show me this King of Pentacles in reverse. Oh, yeah. Child caution. The red flags. Intimacy. Casual um, sexual chemistry. Reminiscing. This person misses the, the time, effort, and the energy that you share and the love and care that you gave them. But I also feel like the honeymoon phase, things are not going well with them and this person because honeymoon came out in reverse with someone else. So the like whatever's going on between them and this person is not going well. And I feel like that spirit, like judgment is being called here. Clarify um, someone else. Yeah, they're having challenges with this other person. Five of Wands energy. Working hard. Let go. Make new. So somebody here is ready to let go of something that's not working out for somebody anymore. Ooh, somebody lying about their sexuality. Somebody here could be on a down low. That could be what this gossip is or was. Ew. Show me more about these challenges. What are these challenges? Somebody here could be dealing with a cancer. Somebody went through somebody's phone. So somebody found out some information that was revealed. That could be what this page of swords in reverse this gossip energy is. Somebody found out some information. This person is tired of going through this with this person. Uh, and they feel like they deserve better or you felt like you deserve better. Um, yeah, <laughs> see, you're over here living your best life. You're over here living your best life. I feel like somebody is not living their best life. But see, this person pushed you away. This person pushed you away. 
um, or this whole situation turns you off and you were like, no, thank you. But you, some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius here. Yeah. So, show me more. Yeah, gossip. That's that page of swords in reverse energy. What's this gossip about? Can we get the tea on what the gossip is? Somebody, it's come out twice that somebody went through somebody's phone and they found out some sort of information and there was a bunch of people involved. Remember the circus, the shit show? That's, here's the circus, a bunch of people, a bunch of drama, page of swords in reverse. There's a lot of people involved in this situation and it created some form of like gossip here. Somebody could have, this karmic may have saw your person like stalking you on social media too. Hmm. Let me see if I can get some more information about this this gossip. Can you give us some more information about this gossip, please? More information about this gossip. Whatever the gossip is that came out is something that somebody did in the past. Somebody could totally go both ways. This might have something to do with somebody's sexuality or something somebody did in the past that has something to do with somebody questioning somebody's sexuality. They go one way, they go the other way. Somebody might be bisexual and somebody is ready to speak up about that or they might be like lying on somebody. Some, somebody here also, um, something could have something to do with children. What's this children energy? Children are involved in a situation. Show me more about this gossip and this children energy. Some, this has to do with an ex. This has to do with an ex, somebody from the past. This has to do with an angry, hurt, bitter, karmic ex. Or something somebody did with an ex. So the person, your person actually is watching you because they miss you. And I feel like somebody did get caught. But I feel like this, there's a side note here that your person is going through. There is some some drama and some gossip going on because they, whoever your person is with, they went through their phone and found out all this other information. I'm trying to think here. What I, um, show me more here. Show me more here. Somebody here could be a Gemini or an Aries. What's this clarity about? Somebody here is getting clarity about a situation. Somebody's doing something to keep somebody stuck somewhere. Or to keep your person from leaving. Show me more. Yeah, look at this energy. It's like somebody's in this four of cups energy. Somebody regrets doing something is what this is. Somebody regrets saying and doing something. And they don't see a way out. Ace of Wands in reverse. They don't see a way out. Yeah, they don't see a way out. Refusing to see. Refusing to see with the Ace of Cups and then helpless and hopeless. Somebody don't know how they're going to get themselves out of this mess. They want to break free. They want to break free and, and move in a different direction, but they don't know how to. They feel a lack of control right now in their own situation because they didn't listen to their intuition here with this high priestess energy and do what God told them to do to move forward and confront their inner childhood or their demons and just move on. Eight of Cubs. Mm. Uh, let me see. Let me pull from this deck here and see what else comes out. Uh, show me more about this situation. Show me more. I feel like right now, 
collective, you, yeah, this person is regretting something that they did, like, really, really bad. Regretting something that they did here. Past life love, your soul. Somebody's in denial about a connection or an ex from the past. They were supposed to detach and see something for what it was, and this person did not do that. They were supposed to have learned a spiritual lesson by now, but they did not do that. Somebody, you know, show me my hair. I feel like, collective, you have learned a spiritual lesson. You're focusing on yourself. You're not going to allow this situation to keep you from being vulnerable or emotionally available from a new person or the person that you're currently with right now. You're not going to let this stop you from having a good life, enjoying life, having fun, okay? You're not going to let this stop you. But this person is longing you and missing you. I told you. I keep telling y'all that. Somebody is, this person that's longing you and missing, missing you is having financial difficulties. I'm telling you. They're having challenges when it comes to money. They're either asking people for money or they're working so hard they don't have time to... Yeah, this is you releasing this person. You're healing. You're taking care of yourself. Okay, this is your, your energy right here. But this person... They're not ready. They want a second chance with you, though. They do. They want to talk. So they're struggling a little bit during this separation. I'm going to tell you that. But, you know, too many red flags and too many. Yeah, this person is not able to let, let this go or let you go. Or they're not able to let go of a situation they're currently in. They feel stuck in something and they feel a lack of control. Show me more here. They feel a lack of control in the current situation that they're in that doesn't involve you. That's what this is. Y'all have new love coming in. There's somebody new that's going to want to come in and, and have a lot of fun with you. Okay. New love is here for you, honey. And, and, and whoever this new person is, it's safe for you to love them. Yeah. Because you've been healing and doing the work. Yeah, you've accepted. You know who this person was to you, but I feel like you're no longer attached to it. So I don't blame you. I'm going to leave it there because this reading is getting pretty long. But take what resonates, leave what doesn't. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, hit the like button before you go. Bye.